All right, let's play. Well, let me look at the settings real quick. Display. Yes, that looks all good. Audio. Let me turn down the sound effects. Okay, screen shake. Probably don't need much of that. Should let's go with none of that. And I'm playing on a controller. Do, 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 do. Thanks for giving out the retweet clams, Roswell. Appreciate it. <gasps> Slot one, two, or three, gang. One, two, or three. First one takes it. I don't know. Three? Three! Three, my lord! <gasps> Look at that little cat. <laughs> JoJo's like pie. cat is paused. The cat paused. <laughs> Happy birthday! I hit the wrong button. That was the wrong button. Not even gonna correct it. That was perfect. Alright. All life could have ended 14 years ago. It almost did. For the first time in history, the whole world was unified under a single banner. The House of Dagadai. The Dagadai believed in technology, science, and progress. For a while, the future was bright. Then, resources started to run low. In order to sustain our way of life, the Dagadai family did unspeakable things to the planet and its ecosystems. A rebel group, the Children of Gaia, appeared in response. Their divine goal, to save the planet at all costs. As the planet grew weaker, more and more people started to support them. But nothing mattered. All their efforts were in vain. Without trained soldiers or real weaponry, they were no match against the Golem army of Goleman, I mean Dagadai. That is, of course, until the Night Witches awoke. They were real forces of nature, heroes with the ability to fly, with the strength of legend and magical powers that defied our wildest dreams. They drew power from the people's trust. The more we believed in them, the stronger they'd become. Thanks to them, we could all be part of the fight. We simply had to believe in them with all of our hearts and souls. They soon became the face of rebellion, a beacon of hope. The Dagadai trembled in fear against them. Everybody knew their names. Norm! Faruru, the Conjurer. Sykra, the Weapon Master. Irene, the Trickster. And the strongest of them all, their captain. Robin, the Angel of Destruction. This is the story of how the Night Witches ended the war. This is the story of the Battle of the Broken Sky. Okay. This takes place during that part. The sky is shattered. The planet is dying. Have we lost? After everything we've done? No. No way. We won't surrender. We'll finish the fight. There must be something we can do to save everyone. The Emperor must fall. Hold R1 to obliterate. All right, here we go. Now, keep in mind, we're playing as ultra-powerful Night Witch right now. This is kind of like the prologue. My vines will protect the civilians. Rush forward, Robin. I feel like this is going to be a good Steam Deck game. Ow! Don't hit me. I see you back there. Sneaking around. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I love the music. They keep building walls. They'll keep bringing them down. 
Build him up, break him down. Boom, edge, strike. Go ahead, Robin. Irene's inside already. This is it. This is our chance. You've done well, Sykra. Stay here and protect the perimeter. Let no golems pass. Yes, Captain. All right, use square, triangle, or circle to cast spells. All right, see, I have the cards over here. Let me move myself over maybe a little. Oh, no, I got an old time. Uh, do, 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 do. Webcam. Should I move over? Boop, 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 boop. Try that. Oh, I cast the shield. Okay, that's cool. All right, so like different abilities come up in the form of these cards. And then I hit them when they, when I have enough energy. That's the sturdiest door I've ever seen. The emperor must be close. Did she summon that kitty? Because Irene is badass then. We can hold it open for you. This is our chance. Thanks, Irene. I've got this. Robin, before you go, can I say something? The sky is falling apart. I don't know how we're going to fix this. It feels like the end, but I'm not afraid. If anyone can pull off a miracle and turn this around, it has to be you. I, I know. I can do this. I can do this. I love that cat. Oh, I changed my uh, primary attack. I wonder how long it lasts. Probably up to here. You played the demo on Steam Deck, Bowser? Oh, nice. Robin, this is all your fault. My fault? You must be crazier than I thought. Your reckless way of, your reckless way of life has choked the life out of the planet. It shattered the sky into pieces. What were you planning to do with all your fortunes? You knew this was going to happen. You really don't see your role in all this. You night witches are nothing but weapons manufactured with soldier engineering. Formidable weapons, no doubt about it. Better than in any army money could buy. But we had to focus all our resources into military development because of you. We didn't even have flying golems when this war started. Imagine what we could have achieved instead. Space exploration was almost in our grasp. We could have left this planet before it was unhabitable, expanding our civilization to other worlds. Other worlds? So you could just treat them as you treated this one? No, Erebus. Don't blame this on us. If the planet is dying, you fix it. You don't just run away. You're delusional. If we're closed, every factory like you wanted society would have crumbled. On a dead planet, there can be no society. You'll pay for what you've done. You're nothing but a flying celebrity. I'll teach you some manners. Oh my god, we're fighting Elon Musk. my nose that was a bad time uh... sorry here we go one hit point in a dream hey look now i got all my health back it's gonna be perfect oh my god that was crazy all right hey like them apples I got my shield. The music is badass in this.
I can collect this stuff. Oh, that helps. Here you go. What do you think of that? And this. Shield! Oh no, I only got one health. I don't think the shield worked. Whoa! That makes it hard for me to see what's going on. Yes! This is ridiculous. You can't be for real. How could you be so strong? This is not my strength. It's everyone's. It flows through me thanks to the Night Witch's link. Everyone wants you to lose, that's all. I'm fighting in their stead. You're just a bunch of ungrateful dogs biting the hand that feeds you. Everyone wants me to lose? Well, then I'm going to take everybody down. <laughs> more energy! More! What's he doing? He's going to blow everything up. At that moment, when Erebus's selfishness turned into madness, we were all connected to Robin through the link. The link goes both ways. We could send Robin our strength, but we could also feel the battle through her. That's when the miracle happened. Everybody believed in Robin. Everybody wanted her to win. There were tears in my eyes as I was connected to everyone else through her. In that moment, she was a real goddess. And she struck with the strength of one. Big B's interposing hand! Yet, that's how the war ended. Everybody lost. The house of Dagadai tried to preserve the way of life. They were shattered. The children of Gaia fought to save life, but the planet was bleeding through the sky and would soon die. It's in moments like this when everything seems lost that fate, de fate decides to intervene. In the crater formed by Robin's final attack, we discovered a network of underground tunnels. Survivors from both sides of the conflict dropped their weapons and ventured inside. We left the surface behind forever. That's how we discovered the city of Dungeonitis. Forgotten by time, a haven built by ancient giants, the Hexcari. A city built around a massive life support machine, a true blessing, a home. Thanks to the Dungeonitis and the machine, we have energy, oxygen, food, shelter, and a chance at peace. 14 years of peace. That's why we thank the Night Witches every day. Thank you, Night Witches. Thank you, Robin, with your infinite might. And now our tale begins. All right. All right, pretty cool opening. Now, all that craziness of that first battle, that was playing as one of the, the Night Witches. Super, super powerful. So, you'll start off more. It'll be a little bit more chill now at the beginning. Megaphone. So remember to get your family together and join us today in the Hanging Castle on this very first Robin's Day. I'm gonna be Robin now. What? No, come on. You were Robin last time. It's my turn. No, I'm a girl, so I'm Robin. You're Erebus. Prepare to die. No way. If I can't be Robin, I'm not playing. You can't escape me from me, Erebus. You broke the sky. Prepare to pay. All right, here we go. We play as Rain. This is our main character. I don't think those kids were even born when the war ended. And still, they talk about Robin like it all happened yesterday. She really has become a timeless legend. Anyway, gotta go meet Akai. He said he'd be waiting at the pantry. That's right ahead. 
Meet with your husband, Akai. All right, Akai Bond, a guiding gust. If we walk together, we'll never be lost. If you're feeling lost, just press pfft. a magic gust Have of wind. Have you considered getting good? It's Merm. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, a magic gust of wind will show the way. Just remember that sometimes the straightest route won't be available. Find your own path. Okay. There we go. Little guiding wind. Yes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You want to watch this game all day, but you must pack big cookies and find our Christmas decor. This is a good Steam Deck game. Azaria. Your wind usually guides people away, McMerlin. Me too. Same. Oh my god! Don't even! I'm the master of wind. I'm the wind master. Alright, so my rear? <laughs> my rear's got good wind too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rain. You trained with Robin, right? It must be great to meet a legend like her face to face. You're so lucky. Uh, I guess I am. What can you tell me about her? Come on, I want some dirt. <laughs> My rear. No, we talked about this. Oh, you're no fun. What if you go the other way? I can't go home right now. What guy is waiting for me? All right, fine. Robin's Day. What a load of bull. That war is the reason we're all stuck living underground. We're the ones that built Dungeonitis brick by brick. It should be the people of Dungeonitis Day, damn it. You know what? You have a point there. Shut up. You didn't even fight in the war. Marin, chill. I was agreeing with you. You're right. I guess I was just jealous of her. She's awesome. Uh, that's not... Whatever. Take care, Marin. Yeah. Marin just wants to be angry at the world. I really miss living on the surface. The sky. It was so beautiful. Most people don't remember it anymore, but I can see it every time I close my eyes. So beautiful. Also, Dungeonitis sucks. Why did they give me a house up here? They should have made me a night witch too. Then I'd be able to fly like you. Oh, there's lots of people to talk to. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. Let's go back over here. We missing anybody? My voice is going to be robbed within the hour, just so you know. Merm, you're good. You're busy at work uh, at the moment, but class rest of the week. So should we be able to hang out? Oh, nice. That'd be awesome. Fly, little fly. Yeah, I like being able to fly around. It's groovy. It's groovy. Can we go to the castle now, Ma? Robin will be there any minute. We won't see her. Don't worry, sweetie. There's still time. Everybody in Dungeon Ice will get to see Robin today. Her name is Cybralkis? I like that. Can Jatata come with us? You say Jatata, I say Jatata. The war ended 14 years ago, and now they want to make Robin's Day a thing? Hey! She is the captain of the Night Witches, and they're pretty much ended the war by themselves. I know, but why did they wait 14 years to make it a new holiday? We were busy building Dungeonitis, I guess. And now that it's finished, we can finally reward Robin as she deserves. That's why I composed a special song for the day. Want to hear it? Um, no. Ahem, <clears throat> ahem. Robin, you're so... Dude, I will hit you. I like those two. And don't ex expect me to remember what voices I gave people when we meet these people later on. I will have no idea. Stump? Everybody's excited about Robin's Day. But if you ask me, Faruru is my favorite witch knight. She can create things out of thin air. She made the Giga Tree. Robin was the captain during the war, yeah. But overall, Faruru is way cooler. Okay. All right. Now we got all that. Arcane beacons! 
They're all around Undenitis and we don't know what, what, what they do. But the energy that flows through them is like the Night Witch's link. And our beacon's powered by our trust as well. Word of our community's acclaim spreads. Team 17 is raiding while I'm doing a silly voice. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Thank you so much. Howdy. Uh, brand new Willow is here. What's going on? How you doing? Welcome, friends. Uh, Team 17 is the publisher for Night Witches coming out today. We are checking it out for the very first time. We just started like 10 minutes ago, so you're right on time. I played uh, this demo during the Steam Next Fest uh, demo week back in October, and uh, we played the whole thing and we loved it. So, yeah. Uh, we're giving it a shot today on launch day, and, uh, welcome on in, everybody. My name is Richie, uh, aka Bog Otter, and, uh, come, come hang out with us as, uh, we play this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, no, so far, so good, Team 17. Loving the music, loving all the characters. It's great. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching my stream, go give, uh, Team 17 a follow. Go check out their stream. Yeah, good luck with the launch. I'm excited. I was saying earlier how uh, we have a lot of uh, folks in our community that have recently got on the Steam Deck uh, train. And this seems like a really good game to play on the Steam Deck, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Panda. Oh, that's not a command. That's just informing folks that uh, I was given a copy of this, this game to play. Yeah. Team 17 was nice enough to send me a copy. Yep. Jazan, it got the, it has the green tick for Steam Deck. Oh, nice, nice, and thanks for following Jazan. All right, so there's this. Uh, for those of you who have missed the very, very beginning, the world went under uh, underwent a huge war, and the uh, the Night Witches kind of saved the world from collapsing completely. But the surface is uninhabitable now. So they found this underground area and have been over the past 14 years building it into a new civilization for them. And now they're celebrating one of the night witches named Robin in a, in a day they're calling Robin's Day. And uh, it's 14 years later after that calamity. So that's where we are in the story right now. Yeah. Hey, Sasha, what's going on? Hey, meat boy. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. All right, so we can click on that. Let's see, was there anything else over here? Okay, so they want me to go that way. What happens if we click on this? A place of power and serenity. Take a breath and think. Akai asked me to meet him in the pantry. That's through the door down there. I know he has a secret project to cheer me up because it's Robin's day. He's been acting super suspiciously for weeks. He's so cute, he just can't lie. That's a great quality for a husband, actually. Sure. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, let's meet our hubby. Here's a Kai. Hey, Rain over here. Are you ready for your surprise? Sure. What are you up to? I have to say, I'm legit curious. Well, for this whole Robin's Day thing, my group had the task of building a load of decorative lanterns that look like war golems. I know, not exactly tasteful. But since I was making them, I asked if I could keep some, and they let me take some, as many as I wanted. Okay, but I really can't see where this is going. So, the thing is, I know how you feel. We've talked about this, and I can see it on your face. You didn't become a night witch, and I know it weighs on you. It was really unfair. You were like sisters in the end. You couldn't help them. You're always kind of blue on the anniversary of the Battle of the Broken Sky. And now they call it Robin's Day? I just thought you could use a release. Oh my. Akai, honey. That's really nice of you, but it's okay. I did want to help save the planet, but... It turns out I wasn't needed. The Night Witches were way stronger than me. I, I know, I know, but, but try this. Pull that lever over here. Okay. 
And of course, I'm going to go all the other places. Okay. Never know where there's going to be secrets. Whoa, where did that come from? Ah, do you like it? Your own shooting range. You didn't get to blast any golems in the war, but you were the best in training. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I was an ace. But that was a long time ago. You're still an ace. Blow them up. All right. She's rusty, not me. She's rusty. It's been a while. <laughs> Okay, that felt good. Wait, there's more. Pull that other lever. Seriously? How much work did you put into this? Into building a secret hideout for you to blow stuff up far away from the world while the people have a party in honor of that jerk? All the time I put into it was totally worth it. Come on, Robin's not a jerk. She was under a lot of pressure. Forget about her, pull that lever. Okay, now show me that thing you used to do. I loved it. Does he take it out of context? Pulling the lever, show me that thing you used to do. I loved it. I mean, this is all like, <laughs> there's double entendres all over this. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't know if I can still do it. It's still happening. Just try. <laughs> instinct aim. Hold R1 without aiming to shoot with your instinct alone. Bullets will do a bit less damage, but you'll never miss your mark. Oh, okay. Oh, so I don't actually have to aim it. Nice. Okay, so if I... Yeah, that was easy. Okay, I'm starting to think you were right. This is fun. See, I know you better than anyone. And there's a third lever. The final challenge. Really? Akai, you're the best. You did all this just to cheer me up? I love you so much. Go try the last lever. You can try this one as many times as you want. <laughs> See if you can beat my record of eight targets. I'll leave you having fun. I have to take these mushrooms to the market. They're waiting for me. Take as much it time as gift, you want. A gift to the friends of the otters. Quo gifting a sub to Juna. Thank you so much, Quo. 26 gifted subs in the channel now for Quo. Three more and we're going to do our game vault giveaway. Our spark vault key giveaway which includes 20 cookies if you're in the U.S. Shipped to your door if you want them, courtesy of Sparkwood. What you looking for? Tape? It's in the bag that we took to the... No? The vendor event? All gone. It's all gone? We have no tape? I have no tape. What do you need tape for? To package the cookies, the box. Oh, like, box tape. like a... Yes. That kind of tape? Yes. So Use duct tape. I am not going to use duct tape, Richard. I'm Why going not? to wait until those cookies are done cooking. And then I'm going You're gonna to go back out to the store. Back out to the store. Okay. But I'm gonna do it all in one. I'm going to go to the store, buy the tape, and then ship off um that's a, Claire's cookies. That's a good good call. She's going to the post office soon, gang. If you want cookies. Still got a couple dozen left. Information's right there on the screen that Ape Noise just put on there. Yeah. You have to be in uh you have to be in the US though. You have to be in the US. Unfortunately. Not our rules. It's things like laws and customs and stuff. Yeah. Um Okay, Kai says, take as much time as you want. You don't need to be anywhere else. I'll be at home making dinner when you get back. Akai's making all of everybody else look bad. I'm just gonna I'm just saying, you know? Thanks. I'm going to go wreck your record with my eyes closed. We'll see about that. Goodbye. Akai, one last thing. Yep. Are you going to the castle to see the ceremony? Nah, I'm busy with the mushrooms. You can go if you want. It's going to be a huge party. I don't want to. Honestly, I don't really like the night witches that much. To me, it feels like they turn their backs on you. I'm starting to feel the urge to blow stuff up again. Go nuts. See ya. Next time you're in the U.S., you'll grab some cookies? All right. Let us know. 